Everything Dinosaur here and today we're going to review one of the new for 2020 Collector Deluxe Dinosaur models. Specifically the Collector Deluxe 1 to 40 scale Fukisaurus model. This chap here. So without any further ado let's jump straight in and review the model. So here's the model. A model of an ornithopod dinosaur from the Lower Cretaceous. Fossils of which come from the famous Kitadani Quarry on Honshu Island of Japan. Japanese dinosaurs are extremely rare, but Pukisaurus is one of the best well known, having been named and described in 2003 from several fossil specimens, including a skull. Well, a nearly complete skull anyway. And that skull is very important because it gave us an idea about how these types of dinosaurs an ancestor of the very successful hadrosaurids, how these dinosaurs evolved. And we'll talk more about the very special skull of Fukisaurus later on. But now let's just marvel at the model. We love the beautiful detailing and the wonderful texture that can be seen in the skin. And that row of osteoderms, which are along the back, starting very small towards the neck and then moving over the hips and getting slightly larger over the middle portion of the tail, right to the end of the tail. That's a lovely detail. The limb proportions are also just about spot on. Although the dinosaur model is shown in a four-footed pose, quadrupedal if you like, this dinosaur is probably happier being a biped. But that notwithstanding, this is a beautifully proportioned and wonderfully detailed model of a rare dinosaur. This really is a beautiful dinosaur model. It's been wonderfully well painted and we love the tan undertone with the brownish spots covering the whole of the body, including the limbs. And that thumb claw, yes, that's very prominent in this figure too. That's great to see. It's a very well sculpted figure, beautifully proportioned. We love the folds of skin as featured over the stomach and towards the hip area. The animal looks quite animated as if it's moving along. It's a really clever figure. A model of quite a rare dinosaur, one that's not often found in model collections. So, let's just see how big this model actually is, as we bring in our handy geological ruler to show the size. The model measures approximately 14 centimeters long. And Fukisora stands some ooh, five and a half centimeters high at the hips. Now this model is supposed to be in 1 to 40 scale, but let's not get too hung up about that particular scale, because the actual size of Fukisaurus remains uncertain. In the Everything Dinosaur fact sheet that we supply with this figure, we estimate its size to be about 4.2 to 4.5 meters in length, which means if the animal is 14 centimeters long as a model, that's about 1 to 30, 1 to 32 scale. But that's enough about the scale for the moment. So, it's that time in the video that we like to call Cloaca Watch. Because, let's see how anatomically accurate this model really is. Does it have a cloaca? Let's see. Oh yes, there's the cloaca. Thank you, collector. All dinosaurs had a cloaca. But not all dinosaur models, but the Fukisaurus from Collector certainly does. Well done Collector, we like that feature. Here's a view of the underside, showing those beautiful folds of skin around the stomach and the wonderful detailing on the throat with those beautiful textured scales and wonderful, wonderful details on the body. The model itself says 2019, but we can assure you this is definitely a 2020 release from Collector. Sharing the bone bed where this dinosaur's fossils come from were the remains of crocodiles, turtles and significantly the remains of a theropod dinosaur. This chap here. This is a model of Fuki Raptor, also from the Collector range. Now, Fukiraptor was contemporaneous with Fukisaurus. The fossils come from the same plane in the bone bed. Now, this 
dinosaur here as a carnivore may have predated upon Fukisaurus. Their fossils are found in association, but there's no actual evidence, as far as we are aware at Everything Dinosaur, of the bones of Fukisaurus showing bite marks or tooth gouges from a theropod such as Fukiraptor. So, two low Cretaceous dinosaur models representing prehistoric animals that roamed what is now known as Japan, Honshu Island to be specific. On the left, the carnivore, the theropod Fukiraptor, and on the right, Fukisaurus, fossils of which have been found in association in the same bone bed. These dinosaurs were contemporaneous. They lived together in the same environment at the same time. And both these models are contemporaneous in the Everything Dinosaur Warehouse. Yes, we have them both in stock. The detail on this model is superb. Take, for example, the beak, which is beautifully sculpted. And the mouth has been well painted inside although you can't see many teeth. But you can make out that beautiful nostril and that wonderful eye and that amazing white eye flash which runs from the orbit, the eye socket, down to the tip of the beak and the upper jaw. A really nicely painted model. Congratulations, Collector. This is a beaut. We love the facial markings. That beautiful white flash that runs from the orbit, the eye, right along to the tip of the upper jaw. That's a beautiful feature collector. Thank you for that. Now, one of the interesting things about this dinosaur model is that it's mouth open. And that reminds us about a very special feature about Fukisaurus. Now, it may be a basal hadrosauriform, one of the dinosaurs that was ancestral to the great hadrosaurs, the lambiosaurians, the hadrosaurians that dominated Lake Cretaceous northern hemispheres. But the unusual thing about this dinosaur is its skull. Unlike the hadrosaurs and indeed many other ornithopods, this dinosaur's skull could not flex. The ability to flex a skull, to have various bones move in flexion to each other, meant that these dinosaurs had a way of processing their food. They could chew their dinners. The skull of Fugisaurus is different. The maxilla is very strongly associated to a facial bone. So its skull didn't flex in the way that other ornithopod dinosaurs did. The great advantage anatomically of these types of dinosaurs was the ability to process tough plant food in their mouths. Fukisaurus, on the other hand, must have had a different way of processing the food. It had a different way of chewing. Or maybe it just ate different types of plant food that didn't need to be such heavily processed. We don't know. But thanks for Collector for the open mouth. That reminds us how important and significant this dinosaur is. We'll try and find a video on YouTube showing how the skulls of ornithopod dinosaurs flex. We'll put a link to that video in the description at the bottom of our video. Oh, and of course, we'll put a link to where you can buy this wonderful figure on the Everything Dinosaur website too. So, this has been Everything Dinosaur's brief review of the Collector Deluxe 1 to 40 scale Fukisaurus. Now, as an ornithopod, these types of dinosaurs sometimes get overlooked when compared to the theropoda and the sauropoda for that matter. So, why don't we ask a question? What's your favourite ornithopod dinosaur? Put your suggestions in the comments down below. And on that note, I'll say thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck with your dinosaur model collecting. Thank you.